everybody welcome back to boost feed so the intro clip that you saw was mine 2002 bug eye wrx it recently just had a bunch of maintenance done on it um i have the list right here there's a lot of stuff a bunch of gaskets a bunch of small things like hoses but the two main things that were done were uh head gaskets and valve cover gaskets and the clutch now the car originally had an aftermarket clutch on it i don't know what it was um the person I bought it from, they told me it was aftermarket. They never told me what kind. I was super excited. So I was like, all right, I'm with it. I'll take it. Uh, it worked just fine. It worked. I had the, I've had the car for two years now. It worked just fine. But when I took it in to get the gaskets done, they told me that the clutch was super worn. So while they're in there, I figured may as well switch the clutch out. So <clears throat> I ended up going with uh, an Exedi street clutch. I've already been driving it a little bit. I drove it from the shop to my house, and then I just drove it around the block, as you can see in that intro clip. But today I'm gonna talk about how to break in a clutch. So, it seems scary. Uh, it's really not bad. <clears throat> I'm still in the process of doing it. You wanna start with being easy on the clutch. You don't wanna start ripping on it immediately. It takes time for that clutch and the, the flanges to engage and get warmed up and heated. If you just start ripping on it immediately, the clutch is going to get worn super quick and all that maintenance and all the money you just spent will really just go to waste. You'll have to get a new one, have to get it replaced. So go super light on it for the first few weeks, first few hundred miles, drive it back, back and forth around your neighborhood, get the clutch involved, get it engaged, get it warmed up. You know, I would say let the car warm up, get it to idling temperature, drive it around the block, make sure to go all through the gears, downshift it, don't downshift it super high, but downshift it, just make sure the gears are getting involved, make sure everything's good, feeling good. Um, and then after the first few times of warming it up and letting it cool down and then rewarm it up and driving it around, then you, then you can start putting some miles on it. Um, you know, I wouldn't say drive it 100 miles somewhere, 100 miles back, but you know, slowly extend from outside of the neighborhood put a few hundred miles on it and I think once um, 500 to a thousand miles the clutch should be good and engaged and then you can probably start getting into it a little bit more for me personally I'm still gonna take it super light I'm gonna be super easy on it um, possibly even up to a thousand miles uh, I just don't want to have to go back in there and get that job redone because that's expensive that's time um, and you know I want to keep making videos for you guys keep making mods keep doing stuff to it but uh, with it you know, in maintenance, getting worked on, there's nothing I can do about it. So, uh, yeah, that's really how you break in a clutch. It's super simple. Just keep it light. You don't want to rip on it too soon or else it's going to really hurt the clutch and it'll get replaced pretty soon if that's what happens. So, thanks you guys for watching. If you guys need any more help with anything, let me know. I'm going to keep doing mods. I'm going to keep posting videos for you guys. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see anything else like this. I'll see you guys next time.